St. Francis stars Kelly O'Sullivan as 34-year-old aimless server Bridget, who hasn't yet achieved her goal of becoming a respected writer. When casual relations with a younger nice guy leads to an unexpected confrontation with potential motherhood, she manifests a job nannying a pint-sized spirit guy disguised as an obstinate six-year-old named Francis. Kelly O'Sullivan also wrote the film, and it's directed by Alex Thompson in his feature debut. It was released at the end of February in a limited theatrical release, and was quickly lost in the shuffle once the pandemic hit only a couple of weeks later, and theaters were shut down, which is a shame considering how I really enjoyed this movie. I actually included it in my Overlook 2020 movies that you should see video, which I'll link to in case you missed it. And funny story, as I noted there, the only reason this even popped up on my radar was due to the fact that I briefly got it confused with the A24 horror movie, Saint Maud, which is a totally different sort of film, but was supposed to be released not too long after this, before the pandemic hit. This is a very sweet and funny movie, chronicling the unlikely friendship between this babysitter and the young girl she's caring for. At first, it hits some slightly familiar beats with the two not getting along so great at first, but that luckily lasts only for so many scenes. And the bond that forms between them feels especially cohesive because even though they get off to a bit of a rocky start, they're not flat out adversarial towards each other. Bridget isn't someone who hates kids, while Francis isn't someone who's a vindictive little brat. Bridget simply doesn't have a whole lot of experience with kids, and Francis is just a bit of a handful. It felt very authentic in its portrayal of this relationship, with both Kelly O'Sullivan and Ramona Edith. Williams, who plays Francis, being absolutely delightful together. And the film also gives us a little insight into the shoddy relationship that Francis' parents have, and how some of that stress makes its way into Bridget and Francis' time together. And I thought the film did a great job incorporating some family drama into the mix without it feeling shoehorned in. And on top of all this, there's another subplot revolving around Bridget's romantic life. And on top of all this, there's another subplot revolving around Bridget's romantic life, as she deals with a little bit of pressure from the potential father regarding regarding this unwanted pregnancy, as well as her own interest in one of Francis' teachers. I think the way it handled her pregnancy was really well done, especially in one great scene where she tells him what her decision will be, and how she's not interested in any pushback from him. The stuff regarding the teacher, though, was probably my least favorite part of the film. Not that it was bad, but it's a storyline that we get introduced to a little later on, when there's already a fair amount to tackle, and it just felt like it was the one storyline that felt the least impactful. I think the movie could have cut that, and brought the runtime down to about an hour, 20 or so from an hour and 40 minutes. But otherwise, this is a really well done movie that was one of the best hidden gems from early 2020, and I hope we get to see more from Kelly O'Sullivan soon. It's on VOD, so check it out if you can. St. Francis gets an 8 out of 10. So, let me know, did you see St. Francis, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you find it funny, did you like the story, and what's a feel-good movie you've seen lately? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, and share it, and for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll catch you next time.